Hello, so this is training programme number three, but this one is designed for the kids. So please make sure you're showing these in your form lessons and also any other lesson that you see fit. Um, this is what they're gonna have to do the very first time they log on, but after this, everything should be good. Um, so this one right now is how you might do it on a laptop, and I hope to do one where we can show you how to do it on a phone as well. So starting off in Google, we're gonna Google Microsoft Teams. When we Google Microsoft Teams, we're going to look at downloading Teams. And then we're going to download for the desktop. And then download Teams. And underneath, you may have to click uh, Save. And then it should get on and do it. it takes a little while. We're on 52% in a minute. See, it doesn't take too, too long. That last second takes forever. So when it is finished downloading, eventually it will give you these options and now we're going to click run. That's going to allow you to open it. Hopefully. Sorry, that takes a little while. We keep uh, hesitating, but it's here now. So then click run. and eventually it will open. Okay, and at this point, you're going to sign in. Now, if you just delete that, you need to sign in using your normal school login. So that's your first initial followed by your surname and then three numbers. And then it should be at St. Hyphen George's C of E hyphen Thanet dot Kent dot S C H dot uk i know that's really long but just remember it's your first initial followed by your surname followed by your three numbers as if you were normally logging onto the computer followed by the long at st george's email address and then click sign in and then you are using your normal school password so the password that you have set up as your normal school computer login password And this is going to allow my organisation to manage my device. Um, you probably won't get that on your own uh, laptops at home this, because this is a school laptop. So we're going to click OK. And then you're all set. So you're going to click Done. You only have to do that bit the first time. Hopefully once it's on, it will stay logged in for you. But it might be worth writing down those login details so that you don't forget when you're at home. Okay, so the teachers have already been really busy assigning you to some classes. So you may see some classes that you're assigned to already, um, but you may not see any classes at all at this point in time. Don't worry, it will follow through. Um, so I'm just going to talk you through down the side you can see some options. The main option you're gonna be interested in is the Teams option. 
and that's where you're going to see the classes that you've been assigned to. Um, and this is going to be a team is where you will work together with your class. So this is where your class teacher is going to actually set you work, set you revision videos, um, even have meetings with you. Or if you are in the position of having to self isolate or work from home, this is where your lessons will happen. So in this instance, if we click on that sport class. And then you can see here that it opens up your sport class and you have some options up the top. But on posts, you can see that there are already some posts here. Now there is a meeting currently going on. So the teaching of this lesson is already running a meeting and you're able to join this meeting because you can see it there by just clicking join. And here you have some options, whether your camera is on or off, whether your microphone is on or off, and then you're able to click join now. And if anything like this comes up, just click allow access. Don't worry about that, just click no, that's because this is a school computer. Cancel that bit. And there we can see Mr. Wadden because this is his lesson. Hello, Mr. Wadden. Hello. And so he is currently teaching his sport class through this process and you would be able to see everything that Mr. Wadden can do with you and for you. Thank you Mr. Wadden for helping us out. If you want to leave the meeting at any point, you can do so by clicking that red bell. But before we do that, just let me show you a couple of things. So that little hand symbol there is an opportunity for you to raise your hand. So if you want to get your teacher's attention for anything, um, that's probably the most important thing for you to note. Um, you whizzy kids, you're gonna be able to explore this and figure this out a lot quicker than we are. Um, so I'm relying on you for that. But we'll leave this meeting for now. Thank you, Mr. Wadden, bye. Um, and so this meeting is still going on. So if you did need to go back into the meeting for any reason, you would still be able to join the meeting. But when Mr. Wadden ends the meeting, you will no longer have that facility as you can see he has just done now. Um, if you then go to files along here, and in here, this is where Mr. Wadden will be able to upload for you anything that he maybe wants you to see for class. So this is an option where you might see videos or worksheets or homework or anything that he chooses to put on there for you. Um, so that's really useful to you. Um, that's it for now. Um, so that's really quick and easy. So it's just remembering that you need to Google Microsoft Teams, download it onto your desktop. Remember that you're logging in with your school login followed by at St. George's C of E, or at St. hyphen George's C of E hyphen Thanet dot Kent dot SCH dot UK, followed by your school login password. Thank you for your time. So a couple of little extras, they may come in little short snippets. So first one, if you click on your class and then up here, there are some little ellipses. You can click on those, that gives you more options and then channel notifications. And this you can click on so that you get all activity. Um, so if you click on all activity, that then means that any time somebody puts a post in here or that a meeting starts or anything like that, it will notify you straight away so that you are clear on not missing on anything out. We don't want you to miss out on anything. Um, so that's a really good thing to do. I would recommend you definitely have your notifications on for each of your classes. So uh, this is how we're going to download Microsoft Teams onto a mobile phone. So you're going to need to start in your app store and then when you're in your app store, you're going to search for Microsoft Teams. And look, it comes up straight away because I think everybody's downloading this at the moment. And so then when you come Microsoft Teams, you can see the logo there. It's the one with the little people and a T and you're gonna click get. Now this is a free app, so please don't stress your heads about things like that. It is a free app and then we're clicking install. And done, that's it, lovely. And obviously it takes a little while and you know you should all get the little circle while it's downloading the app. So don't worry, it depends on your network as to how long it takes.
possibly best doing this when you're on your Wi-Fi. Oh, I'm a bit shaky today. Just be patient. I don't think the network's very good in my office. I reckon it'll be quicker for you all when you're at home. Get in there. And if you're all having a go at this in the classroom with me, hopefully you're keeping up at the same speed as what we are. There we go, nearly there, Come on. and then click open. Okay, so remember this is the first time you're doing it, so what's going to happen next is you're going to need to sign in. Now when you sign in, you'll need to enter your school login. So your school login is your school email address. It starts with your first initial and then your surname and then it's three digits after that. If you're not sure, you should be able to ask your teacher who can tell you what it is. And we have to follow that with the really long St George's email address. So it's St hyphen George's C of E hyphen Thanet dot Kent dot SCH dot UK now it's really really long so you need to be really really careful that you haven't made any spelling mistakes double check everything and as long as you've got it right you can then click sign in It's then going to ask you for your password and that is your normal school password. So whatever you use to sign in on the school computers, then that is what your password will be. And click sign in. because none of you know this is about take 54. Uh, click allow because we would like notifications and then click OK because you probably do want it to use your microphone. And then the next couple of screens are just telling you what you can do. So just click next and next and got it. And you are in and on, well done. Hello, and this is about take 25, but anyway. Um, once you are inside Teams um, on your phone, the kind of most important part is the bit at the bottom where you have different uh, functions, but the most important one is probably the one in the middle that says Teams. That's going to show you which classes you're signed up to. You might not be signed up to any yet, but don't worry if you're not. The teachers are working hard to get you all signed up. Uh, you could be signed up to them all. Um, these are the three classes um, that we're already signed up to here. So you have a couple of options. You can click on the little ellipses next to the class. And by doing that, that just means that you can view members. Other than that, you really can't do a lot, to be honest. If you click on general, um, that's going to give you an option to see any posts that have been set and if there is a meeting running that's where you'll see it here the meeting running and you'll be able to join just like you did on the desktop um, files again that's where any uh, work that the teacher wants you to see is going to be uploaded so you'll be able to access it still on your phone and then more 
Um, to be honest, it's just a few extras that we don't really know what we're doing with yet, but we'll get there, you'll probably get there quicker. So good luck, kids.